Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about glyphosate toxicity and the environmental effects of the glyphosate toxicity. So one of the things that this is de really detrimental for is our bees, and we know that it has been said that if our bees are gone as a species, we are gone as well. And in 2018, a study reported that the glyphosate, which is that toxic herbicide, if you're just tuning in, you haven't seen my other videos I should probably probably preface what glyphosate is it's a toxic herbicide that is gets into 90% of our food supply but it does damage the beneficial gut bacteria in honeybees and this can make the honeybees more prone to infections in research in China showed that the honeybee larvae actually grew a lot more slowly and died more often when exposed to the glyphosate toxicity. Another study in 2015 showed that the field levels of exposure actually impaired how the bees could think and their cognitive abilities so they get confused amongst other things that I've talked about in other videos that can affect bees and their cognition as well. What's interesting to note is that bees actually rely on having a healthy gut microflora and that the glyphosate actually can kill off the acidophilus and the bifidobacterium. So some you know beekeepers in different parts of the world they actually in their feed for the bees they actually add probiotics so the acidophilus and the bifidus, so things that I talk about about human health and our human microbiomes, it is very helpful for honeybees as well. Now it also does affect the insect diversity and what happens with our ecosystems and it, unfortunately the glyphosate is known to be specifically hurting our monarch butterfly population. Now this is something that as a kid I used to see so many monarch butterflies, I actually saw one yesterday in my backyard, there's one that comes Comes around but the problem with the glyphosate is that it kills the milkweed so the milkweed is the only flower plant that the monarch butterflies can lay their larvae and in this study we found that you know the monarchs are in decline so collateral landscape the and the effect of modern agriculture and because of the widespread losses of milkweed, which is the Asclepius species, the only host plants for monarch larvae. So this is really important. So one of the things that we can do, I think individually, which I am doing next summer, it's a little bit late in the season for me to plant right now, but is to buy some milkweed seeds and plant them in my garden to hopefully bring in and attract more of those monarch butterflies. So I hope that I'm inspiring you to do the same thing, depending on, of course, where you live in the world. Also, we have definitely an effect on our soil. So because glyphosate actually chelates those heavy metals in the soil, it was first, you know, introduced as a broad spectrum antibiotic. So it kills a lot of these organisms that we know we need for those healthy soils. It also chelates out heavy metals as well as our important minerals. So things like zinc, magnesium, calcium, iron, cobalt, which is important for our B12 status. So so we ask ourselves, you know, why do we always have all of these mineral deficiencies from the food that we're eating? Well, this could be one of those big reasons, as well as manganese, which is really important in our body for our enzyme functions, amongst other things. So today we talked all about glyphosate toxicity and the environmental effects of glyphosate toxicity. I hope that you learned something new. Please share this video with your friends. It's really important to share this information and really educate ourselves about how to do things more naturally. If you do have questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. So please drop them in the comment section below and please give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of your great feedback. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and also click that bell to turn on all notifications so you always are notified of my newest and latest uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today. Thank you.